An Indian passenger plane has crash-landed just two miles from Heathrow Airport. It's reported the pilot contacted air traffic control, warning them of serious engine failures shortly before the plane went down. The airline has lost all passenger information and is urging concerned family members to come forward and identify the bodies found by rescue teams. Families who can positively identify any of the dead victims will be rewarded a compensation fee of one million pounds. More information on this story as details come in. He was only 18. He was our only son. Doctor, could you tell us if he died peacefully or if he had to suffer a slow death? Well, the autopsy revealed severe injuries to the head and the... Uh, puncturing of both lungs. Now, this kind of damage would have caused instant death, so uh, he was one of the lucky ones. Stay here, the more she suffers, as you can see. Would you mind if we could get this over and done with now? No, no, of course. Let's go to the paperwork. No! I'm not leaving him alone! That's okay. I'll be here if it's going to be easier. Thank you, Doctor. Think he believed us? Of course he did. Didn't you see his face? No, I think he knew something wasn't right. I think we should go. Don't you dare start that crap. But but what if the guy's real parents stand up, huh? His parents really cared about him. Don't you think they would have showed up by now? Even if they do, they'll never find the body. And why is that? We gave them to cremate it. No, this is a bad idea. Bad idea? Do you realize how much money we can make from this? We can get rid of that shit car and buy that Mercedes you always wanted. 
We can finally afford to send that bitch to old people's home. Hey, my mother is not a bitch, okay? Look, the only thing that matters is signing those forms. The quicker we get that done, the quicker we get this over with. <laughs> but what if they want to do a DNA test? Huh? What are we going to do then? Huh? How many times have I told you? They won't do a DNA test. And if they look suspicious, you just show them the picture of Barat. Are you crazy, woman, huh? Our boy doesn't even look like this guy. I'm not trying him anything. Well, it doesn't matter. These people don't know the difference between one brown skin and the other anywhere. That's it. Okay. I've had enough of you bossing me around. From this moment on, I'm not taking any more of your crap. We're leaving now, whether you like it or not. Idiot. <laughs> Nobody's going to ruin my chances of all that money. Not when I'm this close. Especially you. Understand? Ah! <laughs> Look at you. Asshole, that was my bad foot. But you knew that was my damaged ear, you ugly bitch. Ugly bitch. I'll give you ugly bitch. Oh. <laughs> and don't forget to tell Grandan hello from me and your mother. Oh. If, if you want, you can uh, come back in a couple of days to sort out the paperwork. No, no, no. We would rather get it over and done with now, Doctor. Have you uh, decided what you want to do with the body? We think it would be better to cremate it. So that we could have him with us at all times, no? Right. Um, if I can get one of your signatures uh, here, it's uh, just to confirm that the child is yours. Uh, I know it sounds silly, but uh, we have to do these things. He, he looks just like his mother, don't you think, Doctor? Huh? Yes, yes, you're right, yes. Do you have children, Doctor? Well, actually, I... Uh, my wife, she... Uh, she ran away with them after she met another man at our <laughs> wedding anniversary. <laughs> Poor man. Poor man. <laughs> right, well, uh, that's it then. Um, I'll, I'll leave you guys alone. I know it's not important, but uh, you'll receive your cheque in the post within the next ten days. Uh, if there's any problems, feel free to contact us. Thank you, Doctor. Ha <laughs> ha!